Hey guys, I just want to get back to you. Today, I want to do an extra little thing here. Um, and then eventually, yes, I will be doing uh, two um, videos per week, maybe up to three. It depends. But I want to get back to you about uh, a couple of things. Um, let me do the first thing. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is George Wolf, And uh, I am a politician. And I approve of this video and all of the videos that I do and if somebody wants to say something else to me about the, uh, the issue as a politician I would say find the facts look up the facts or ask me from the horse's mouth okay so now I wanna I wanna touch on a little thing right quick I need for you to know okay want you to think this okay 9-11 happened many years ago, but it's still around. The heart, the feelings, and everything. Now, right now, I would like to give a shout-out to those who died. And I also give them a salute. Because what they've done for this country, they've put their life on the line. It could be from a firefighter, as my son was. And many other people, be it uh, law enforcement, firefighters, ambulance, EMs, etc. But I salute all of them only because of the fact that, you know, it, it's a tragedy. When someone has to put their mind out there to think about these type of things. Okay, today um, we're going to talk about today. Uh, and you. Now, it's understood that you already know about the, the, the COVID-19 issue. When, if you want to help open up the governments and you want to meet the criteria, remember the UVC systems to sterilize your business or your, or your home or whatever. And always remember, please be safe about it. Get out of the room once the light's on so that it can start sterilizing your room and after 15 minutes it can shut down I would prefer to have it on a timer don't let other kids come in and out of the room that you're sterilizing with the sterilization lamp <coughs> so the sterilization lamp um, per room if you need to um, stay out of the hallway area if you're in a hallway and you got to sterilize a room without a door, okay? Um, please never be in a room with the uh, system while it's doing what it's doing. Um, some of them you can find for about a hundred bucks. Some it, it all depends, um, especially with everything going on nowadays and people finally taking me serious when I tell them about the UVC system. To business, home, wherever. Try using the the black light. See if you got any covert nineteen on your on your hands, or any kind of virus, so that you can get rid of it. Wash your hands or wipe it off, whatever it takes. And please calm down about using so much alcohol on your skin. It dries it out, gives you sores, and probably much more. It's better to use something like hide. I uh, see like hydro peroxide or something of of, uh, of that nature now <clears throat> let's get back down to our story okay the story today is about business how can we create a, a business well w you need to do so very simple steps but i want you to think about it think about what you want to do what you enjoy what you love to do, is there any kind of business that's doing it? Then I want you to think about uh, wholesale and retail. You're the wholesaler. Okay. And then you have a, a retailer. Now, if you buy in bulk, you can actually become a wholesaler or you can buy in bulk and go straight to retail from the bulk buys 
to retail is what I would personally tell you to do. Now, when I say retail, I don't mean sell like the guy next door. Okay. If I buy jeans at $2 a pair because I'm buying big enough bulk and I can resell them for 5 bucks, why not? The guy over there is selling them for 10 bucks. So think about the mathematics. Think about the things that you're doing. Think about uh, how you want to do it. Then I want you to do a search online for services. You can actually go to Legal Zoom or some service like that. Get you some articles of incorporation or, or articles for your LLC. LLCs are limited liability company or corporations. Um, and the purpose of you doing this is because there is what's called a veil. That means if you're a corporation, okay, or if you are a LLC, um, the penetration is not what you think it is, okay? Means it protects you. With a corporation, you can actually later on go out and buy stocks. You know, with your LLCs, you can actually do what's called a land trust if you want to get into investments into real estate. But that's something we'll get into another time. Uh, today is simply about how to go about getting your business up and running. One is the uh, the SBA has multiple types of services. One of them is a women's uh, product where you can actually join SBDC. Okay, it's probably connected with your col local college, but they're not actually connected. Um, but they help put your business plans together, um, proposals to investors. Um, they have classes. They actually have mentors, free mentors, free. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't go into business because only you know that. It just takes a matter of putting yourself there, Taking your dream and putting it there. Taking your will from your heart, your soul, put it in there. You've got everything you need. Now, from your mind to your heart to the business. Now, <coughs> so now we've already, let's take a step here and think about this. A. You can go to the SBDC, get a mentor, get up and running. You've also got SCORE out there. Now, these are free, okay? But I think the best is the SBDC. SBDC, okay? This is for everyone, even if you're disabled. You can be a blind owner. You can be uh, in a wheelchair-bound uh, entrepreneur, you can be a woman business owner. Never let anybody uh, put you down for it, okay? Yes, I do need to say this, and that is you may get bullies. Just like kids in school, bullies, all they're out is for themselves. You, on the other hand, don't need to be a bully but you do need to think about bullies coming at you. Now, here's what I want you to do. Every time somebody comes on your website and you've got a place where you got comments, just listen to what they say. Then I want you not to take it serious. What I want you to do is answer them. How do you answer them? Well, you call them out online and you say these particular words I love you too psychology tells us if we utilize the reverse the 
the bully will tend to walk away from you rather than towards you. But we got to know why. Well, mentally, you know, something's happened to the person. You know, either somebody died or somebody bullied them. Okay. So what do we do? We let them know, hey, <laughs> doesn't matter what you say. I love you too. Doesn't mean you really love them. But you're giving them the feeling that they need to feel to put them into a square box and start thinking about it. I'm going to leave this person alone. They're crazy. Well, okay, I'm crazy. Thank you very much. And that's the other thing. You've got to use the word intent, too. You've got to use the uh, words that are specifically for you. Okay. Now, when people say certain bad things to you, say thank you. It doesn't hurt you. It hurts them. Because everything they say about you, it's really about themselves. Think about it. Okay, now, let's, let's go on, move on to the business thing now. A, so you go, you get this done free of charge, and you get to know the system, you get to know the services, you got to know. Uh, now, please understand, SBDC, depending on the size, can cover almost any kind of field you can think of. But now, you're going to have a mentor. But that mentor may be for other people as well. So not just you. So limit how you do it. Take some of the classes. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to go into a home business, go and find out what class is available through SBDC. There are online SBD classes. There are physical classes that you can go to. But your mentor, you can talk to him or her and become familiar with the industry, how you should be writing. They're going to give you an idea. They're going to correct certain things. They're going to say, here you go. But I want you to also know how do we go about funding it? Well, one, never use your social security number. In a business, never. That's a no-no. Okay. A social security number is your personal information that tells everything about you. If you're going to get a, a prepaid card so that you can pay bills and receive things and be able to utilize that card to transfer money to an, a personal account or whatever, that's one thing. This type of prepaid card you would want to get and make sure it has a logo, Visa, MasterCard, something to that extent. Um, utilizing that, you would utilize that for your business, okay? And you would get the prepaid card, get registered with it under your name, and register your business with it. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think, okay, business-wise. Dream, whatever it is, business-wise. So now, here you go get your corporation done. Um, you go to the Secretary of State's office in your state, and you get them to stamp it, whatever it takes, and you pay your $250 or whatever, not 800 or, jeez, what do they say, six to $7,000 to incorporate? Wow, that's a ballpark knockout. Anyway, let's get back to what I was saying. So what you do is you get your article stuff together, and you go down Secretary of State's office and you say I want to incorporate here you go I want to get my LLC going here you go your mentor will get the paperwork together or help you get the paperwork together you decide the name they can do what's called the name check to see if somebody else already has a name 
to have a unique name, okay, something similar but to like any company, Microsoft, okay, Microduff, whatever. If it's a familiarization process, you can think about then when you make your organization, it's something that oh, it's almost like a, a daily name. So if somebody hears it, oh, I think I know that business. Wow, let me service it. Check it out. But now also you want to make sure um, you get a uh, registered website and you can either do it yourself or you can let your mentor help you or something or whatever it is. They can help you at the SBDC, okay? Um, now, you're going to ask, well, why are these people going to help me? Well, these are retired people that have already been through the success of business. And one of the things that they do is they get paid for helping you. Well, who pays them? SBDC. Our tax dollars go into paying SBDC who pays them so now what I want you to do is get familiarized with other things okay bulk sale go online and say bulk pallets okay you want to say bulk trailer you're gonna get places where you can physically go to too you don't have to buy it online you can go to it, check it out, see how things kind of look. Look in the box, say, ooh, this looks like it could make my money plus more. Okay. Always remember one very little teeny thing. Okay. And that is shop smart. Look at videos online. Okay. Look at videos online. And put the word in that you're looking, the videos you want to see are the ones that say flip pallets, uh, buy big trailers of products or pallets, bulk sell. Now, remember, I personally don't go after anything that has to do with the, um, the industry of bring backs. Sorry, I'm not into that. Shelf pools, fine. Other things that are similar to shelf pools, um, overstock, um, and um, you know, excess a uh, product. You want to take that stuff. You want to make that stuff maybe part of your business. Okay. Um, my older brother uh, in San Francisco uh, he had a business online and all he did is he buy and sell what is buy and sell buy in bulk and sell individually now of course you've got competition so how do you take care of the competition well simply taking care of the competition is easy a when you buy a product for one price, if it's a huge bulk and you break it down and how much, so you take the figure that you paid and you say, okay, how many items do I got? And I take the amount of items and I divide it in the amount I paid. Okay. Once you have that, then you know exactly what you paid for each one of those items. Then you want to take and just double it and then double the amount that you paid so that you kind of get an idea of what you're looking at your sales to be. You can do that when you're looking for something. When you see and you have to bid on something, say, well, if I bid this, this is how much it's going to cost me and if I double that, that's the profit I'll make. But I first have to look on where I'm bidding and look for the area of products. How many pieces are in that bulk? 
Then you divide that. Then you say, this is how much uh, I'm paying for each thing. Now, just remember, there are videos out there that are more specific than I am. Um, like uh, Flipping Palettes 101. I know that's out there. I'm pretty sure. I think I've seen it once. But the thing of it is, is now this is a home-based business or it can be, you know, uh, out where you want to rent an office or whatever. Um, typically, people like to get these things not at an office, but at a place, either your garage or a place where you can store them. Obviously, if you have them at home and you have kids, they're going to be getting into it. You want to preserve these things and have them ready to go for the customer. Now, you've got Amazon that you can go to and get registered on. You've got uh, eBay. And you have all your little private ones. These ones that people post of. And all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of calls. There was one time <coughs> I remember... Uh, posting something in Penny Saver. Uh, as soon as I posted the thing, it was a solar system. And I'd say, oh, geez, within, I don't know, maybe a couple hours after the Penny Saver was out that next morning, boom, I started getting calls left and right. I think the biggest one is when you're selling physical items versus some of the things that I've sold. I've sold, I've bought uh, securities and sold securities, uh, selling my position. And that's more technical. And that is to uh, a home based business. One of the things we also want to get into is the fact that. You want to do insurance, no matter what, and it's called error and omissions insurance. And you want that insurance to also meet uh, debt if, for some reason, you're overextended on your debt and you got to pay employees. Think about it, because that's what you're going to need. You want credit insurance on your books. Okay. Now it could be a surety bond, but you but you want to insure it. So so under the air and omissions, you say I need to insure that A all my employees get paid. B all my debts are met. Because if something goes wrong, you need to be prepared. One of the other things I wanna say, and that is you might want to consider uh, purchasing a specific bail bond because if something happened and you need a bail out of jail for some reason because something happened and 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 you never know off the wall you never 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 gonna know until it happens okay so now I told you about the Aaron omissions insurance you can go and look for them they're going to be a lot more cheaper than your standard business insurance. Don't be surprised. And then there can be some where people will drill you for money. They want you to give them a little bit more money. Shop around people, please. Whatever you do, shop around for the air and omissions insurance. Now, what I want to step into now is do not, whatever you do, have meetings at your home. Outside meetings are going to be your best bet. Rather, it's at a restaurant. You can sit up in a corner somewhere and talk business. And it ain't like you're going to the restaurant to sit there and yell or scream or turn on music and blast it away or whatever the case may be. You're going there for business. And the thing with it is, it's if you're doing business and you grab a bite of lunch at the same time or breakfast or whatever, have yourself a cup of coffee, 
drink, whatever. And you can sit there and go over the information and sign a contract or whatever that you want to do or or whatever it is. Your mentor from the SBDC will tell you, okay, and I'll tell you, if you're disabled, it's actually SBDC gives you more physical hands-on with the business than rehabilitation for the disabled. So don't be surprised if those who are already in business shows up at their meetings because they get to get more and more trained on things that are available, uh, who to talk to about contracts, set aside to do anything like that. Now, um, I'm also wanting to get uh, back to the young lady about the suit. Come on. Now, I love suits, but for right now, as a jockey, in the old days, they called us jockeys, okay? <laughs> anyway, you know, as a DJ or whatever you want to call uh, on these blogs, okay, I don't necessarily have to look like a politician as long as I understand what the true meaning of politicians are, okay? Now, if you want to know more about the businesses and the industry and the things to do, then comment below or, you know, subscribe or let me know, you know, what you think, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, you name it, just do it. And as I said, if you want to contact me direct, please contact me at George Wolf, W-O-L-F, as in Frank, E, so it's Wolf, okay, G-E-O-R-G-E-W-O-L-F-E, 2022, okay, and then the at symbol, and then it's Outlook.com. Now, I utilize that for my business uh, due to the fact that um, when it comes in, I receive it quicker than if I did Yahoo or Google or something like that. Because my platform has always been Microsoft. Um, I may not be perfect with the electronics, but I do the best I can. Google isn't really what I would say a good deal. If you get a Google um, platform, okay, uh, Chrome, whatever it is, um, I don't like Chromebooks because they're, it's just too difficult. I use uh, Microsoft I don't deal with Apple. Apple's too personal. I like to be diversified in what I use, and it comes out cheaper. Okay. Now, remember some of these things that you can get in the business when you're flipping stuff and you're selling at home. You can do, your, your mom can actually buy the product, and if you're the child or the kid or whatever you want to call yourself, teen, teenager, whatever, you, you name it. Anybody can do it. You just make an account and then come up with that idea and go with it. You flip a pallet, fine. If you want to do consulting, fine. If you just want to go out and be a repairman or a repairwoman, fine. Do these things. Do what you love to do. Okay. And utilize the SBD services, grants, um, special needs, okay, of the SBDC. They have the ability to put you where you want to be. So always remember, SBDC is there. SB, Small Business Administration, SBA, okay, will give you the money. And you can start. A lot of home-based businesses, even some flip, okay, 
Now I'm going to get ready to give you a secret. Okay. And that secret is, did you know that the Social Security Administration, if you're getting, okay, uh, SSI or SDB, or um, I'm sorry, uh, the um, uh, Social Security Disability Insurance money, okay, I want you to know that there's a red book that you should look for. In there, let's say you're making seven, nine, whatever it is, hundred dollars, and you want to start your business. In that book, there is a program where you can take advantage of anybody with a disability. Okay. Social Security will double your money for you to become an entrepreneur. Yeah, you can work for somebody else. But this particular program, you can become an individual that becomes self-supported. So just because you're blind, you have no arms, you have no legs, you're paralyzed, no matter what it is, you would be amazed what's out there. Did you know that you can have a, uh, a kitchen now, right now, you can have uh, a restaurant and you can do a computerized restaurant that will operate kind of like a turnkey system and operate with your commands and the operation of every part of that restaurant. It can serve your customers to whatever and you can be paralyzed. Think about it. Think about the dreams you can have about, hey, I'm making money, but I don't have to be moving to make my money. But we don't want to get lazy, do we? Let's move on. Let's think about other things. So, anyway, with all the businesses, what we want to do is make sure that we do our best. Um, I'm going to be signing out here. And, uh, again, if you want to subscribe, be my guest, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. But uh, this was a special video for this week, and I wanted to get it out to you, okay? So today, um, enjoy this. If you have any more information or comments you want to know about um, for any subject at all, please feel free to give me a, a shout out and let me know what you think. Okay? Okay. Love you guys. Be safe and watch your back. Okay.